for this, just to make it a little bit more convenient to game at times. I know you can use the Steam Link on your phone, but that ain't no fun, especially with the delay. So it came in right on time. After paying for it, um, it shipped two days later and then arrived. It went through the weekend, so it arrived the next Tuesday. Oh, attention. Plug in, power on. We're not going to power it on yet. Got big old instructions. The SD card goes in there. Steam. It's telling you a little bit about it. Pretty nice. This may be the charge brick. Wrapped nicely instead of just being shoved in there with a uh, wrapping paper or something. There is the charge brick, does not hide. It's saying it is a 15 volt, 20 volt at 2.25 amp, 15 volt at 3 amp, 5 volt at 3 amp, 9 volt at 3 amp for output. Input is 1 amp, 1.2 amps. Has a USB-C on it, has plenty of cord, if that's the method you're going to be using to charge it. Just a little filler spot right there. Oh, there's the instruction booklet to the Steam Deck. Uh, I'm not going to be able to show you guys all this stuff uh, in this manual. This is the actual manual, health and safety and maintenance. Most of the stuff you can look up online. There's no pictures, so it's no fun. That's about it. Switch to language on the very next page. That knife that goes right back in there too. I'm going to put this in there. And there we go. Here we go, the Steam Deck. I keep calling it a Stream Deck because I stream. So that's gotten quite annoying. Okay. Your games are going places, especially with this. This is designed, who all it shipped from, <laughs> if you want to keep that handle on there, or this white thing on there, they offer the handle to go through there for some reason. That would be funny if I seen somebody walking around with that. Requires a Wi-Fi connection, internet, steam, must be 13 years of age. Uh, just a bunch of warnings, and then it switches into a different language. Looks like there's going to be a quick pull right here, but I'm going to see if I can slide it off. And I can, sweet. So if I ever go to sell it, I'll put it back on there. There we go, nice case. Doesn't feel like I'm squishing anything. I don't really know what's underneath that. Oh, look at that, nice belt. That would have been cool if that was a zipper right there and you could put extra stuff in there, extra wires. Actually, it'd be awesome if this could just fit in there. Yeah. Maybe it'll fit inside the unit itself. They got a little lock on there. I'm sure if I bust that lock, the unit is then opened. Not too hard. looking at it for a second feels a little bit lighter on this side feels definitely well built so let's see what else is in here just a strap to pull it up nowhere to put that charge cord that's an awful design showing that they have this back here they could have done something with reconfigured it redesigned it just a little bit so we got the two sticks Two touchpads, the steam button. Buttons over there, buttons there, buttons there, buttons there. Y'all feel good. I don't know what all of it does yet. This is just an unboxing. But, um, got two buttons on the back. USB-C, vents, headphone jack. I don't know if it's headphone and 
um, microphone. Looks like there may be a microphone jack right there. There's no tear off screen. Looks like there's two speakers coming out right there. X, Y, A, B. Got uh, the triggers just like Xbox and PlayStation. It does feel like variable triggers and they don't click when you pull them all the way. If you guys ever had the Steam console or Steam controller, you know what I'm talking about. There's where the SD card goes in, micro SD card. We're gonna be putting a one terabyte in it. Yeah, that about sums up the unboxing. Has a nice spot there. This can't go in there anywhere. That does not detach. There we go.